Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Stephis King Entrepreneurship, a place for future successful entrepreneurs. Today, we're going to delve into the world of career advancement, a journey that's not only about climbing up the ladder, but also about expanding your skill set and becoming an invaluable asset to your team. Our guide through this journey is an author who has successfully navigated the corporate structures of high-profile companies like Meta and Google. The author's unique approach, going beyond the call of duty and learning to perform tasks that managers typically dislike. This method, while unconventional, has proven to be a powerful tool for career progression, fostering trust and credibility with superiors. Now let's dive deeper into this unique approach to career advancement. First and foremost, the author emphasizes the importance of doing your current job well. This is the foundation of your professional development. Excelling in your current role is more than just meeting expectations, it's about going above and beyond. It's about being the go-to person in your field, the one who is reliable and dependable. Now imagine for a moment you're a manager. When you're delegating tasks or considering who to trust with significant responsibilities, who comes to mind? It's likely the individual who consistently delivers high-quality work, isn't it? That's the power of doing your job well. It builds trust and credibility. Trust is the currency in which professional relationships are built. When you consistently deliver high-quality work, you're not just completing tasks, you're showing your team, your superiors, and even yourself that you're reliable, that you're capable, and that you're committed. This trust is an essential stepping stone in your career progression. It opens doors to new opportunities and paves the way for career growth. Credibility, on the other hand, is about your reputation. It's about being recognized as an expert in your field. When you excel in your current role, you're not just proving your skills and abilities, you're establishing yourself as a credible professional. This credibility will follow you throughout your career, influencing how others perceive you and opening doors to new opportunities. But here's the thing, excelling in your current role isn't about working yourself to the bone, it's about working smart. It's about finding ways to increase your efficiency, improve your skills, and deliver better results. It's about constantly learning and growing and applying that learning to your work. So, it's crucial to excel in your current role before eyeing the next one. It's the stepping stone to your career advancement. It's the foundation upon which you can build the rest of your career. So, focus on doing your job well, because that's where it all begins. Once you've mastered your current role, the next step is to identify and learn tasks that your manager dislikes. This might sound a bit peculiar at first. Why would you want to take on tasks that even your boss isn't fond of? Well, the answer is simple. It's all about creating value and showing initiative. Let's delve into the process. Start by observing your manager's priorities and preferences. Keep an eye out for those tasks they seem to procrastinate or those they delegate often. These are the tasks that they might not enjoy or find challenging. And here lies your opportunity. By stepping in and taking over these tasks, not only do you lighten your manager's load, but you also place yourself in a position to learn and grow. This demonstrates your willingness to go beyond your job description. And it's this kind of initiative that can set you apart in a competitive environment like Meta or Google. Now, how do you learn these tasks? The key is to be proactive. Ask questions, lots of them. There's no shame in not knowing. The shame lies in not seeking to understand. Shadow others who are proficient at these tasks. Watch how they handle them, the strategies they use, and the challenges they overcome. Reading documentation is another effective way to learn. It might not be the most exciting activity, but it's often the most informative. Manuals, guides, and protocols can provide you with a wealth of knowledge, helping you become proficient at these unlike tasks. Remember, your goal is to step in and deliver value where it's most needed. It's not about taking over every task, but about strategically choosing those tasks that can make a significant difference. It's about showing that you are adaptable, proactive, and most importantly, a team player. So don't shy away from those unlike tasks. Embrace them, learn them, and use them as stepping stones on your path to career advancement. After learning these tasks, the next step is execution. Now let's talk about what this means. When it comes to the tasks that your manager may not be particularly fond of, executing them with rigor is crucial. This doesn't mean doing them just for the sake of completion. Rather, it means handling them with the same level of care, attention to detail, and professionalism that you would apply to your core tasks. You might wonder why this is so important. Well, imagine this scenario. 
You've identified these tasks, you've learned them inside out, and now you're ready to take them on. If you perform them haphazardly or without the necessary dedication, it's likely that your efforts will go unnoticed or worse, be seen as inadequate. However, if you execute them with rigor and maintain the quality of your core work, you're showing that you are capable, reliable, and ready for more responsibility. Remember, your goal here isn't just to do these tasks. Your goal is to do them so well that it feels like a natural extension of your role. This is where you really start to deliver value. You're not just doing a job, you're going above and beyond. You're becoming an indispensable part of your team. And when you're indispensable, you become the go-to person for tasks that others may not want to do. This is how you build trust and credibility with your manager. It's about showing them that you're not just interested in doing your job, but in contributing to the success of the team and the company as a whole. It's about proving that you can handle tougher assignments and that you're ready for the next level. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is how you accelerate your career advancement. It's not just about doing your job. It's about finding opportunities to step in, deliver value, and prove your worth. It's about execution. It's about doing the tasks that others might not want to do and doing them exceptionally well. So, remember, after identifying and learning these tasks, don't just do them. Execute them with rigor. Show your manager that you're a valuable asset. Make yourself indispensable and watch as the doors of opportunity swing wide open for you. Execution is key to impressing your manager and moving up the ladder. The author claims to have used this framework to accelerate promotions in their career. Indeed, the author's approach wasn't merely a theoretical concept, but a proven strategy that brought about substantial results in their professional journey. By honing in on the tasks that their managers disliked, they were able to carve out a unique niche for themselves, becoming an indispensable asset to the team. This strategy didn't just earn them brownie points, but it fast-tracked their career progression at some of the world's leading tech companies, including Meta and Google. The author's success story serves as a testament to the effectiveness of this approach. It highlights the power of initiative, the importance of stepping out of your comfort zone, and the value of continuously learning and expanding your skill set. Rather than waiting for opportunities to come to them, they proactively sought out areas where they could deliver value, which in turn propelled them up the corporate ladder at a rapid pace. But remember, this isn't a one-size-fits-all strategy. It requires keen observation, understanding your manager's preferences, and the willingness to take on tasks that others might shy away from. It's not always going to be easy, but the potential rewards are significant. Now this isn't just about getting promoted quickly, it's about cultivating a mindset of continuous learning and growth. It's about recognizing that every task, no matter how mundane or unliked, is an opportunity to learn something new and prove your worth. And most importantly, it's about understanding that your career advancement is in your hands. So, go ahead and apply this approach in your career. Remember, the sky is the limit when it comes to your career advancement. That's all for today's video on career advancement. We've journeyed together through a practical, actionable blueprint that has the potential to accelerate your career growth. We began by understanding the importance of doing your current job well. Remember, it's the foundation upon which you build your credibility. Your performance in your current role is your ticket to greater opportunities. Next, we delved into the art of identifying and learning tasks your manager dislikes. It's all about observation and initiative. Understand your manager's priorities and preferences, then step in to deliver value where it's most needed. Finally, we explored the importance of executing these tasks effectively. Once you've learned, it's time to execute with rigor and maintain the quality of your core work. It's a delicate balancing act, but one that can yield tremendous results. Remember, the path to career advancement is not a straight line. It requires patience, persistence, and a willingness to go above and beyond. So take these insights, apply them, and watch your career soar. Subscribe to Steffis King Entrepreneurship for more videos and until next time.